Hi, my name is Damien Trainer. I'm the Chief Instructor here at KSL Legacy in Birmingham. I'm a former two times world Muay Thai champion. In this video, I'm going to go over five explosive fight combinations. Check them out and give them a try in your own training. Okay, with this combination, I'm going to start off with I'm going to go left body punch, I'm going to go right overhand, left hook, and I'm going to finish it with a right low kick. Okay, well, the first thing, when you throw the body punch, make sure you dip your shoulder into your head's coverage. You don't want to be kind of walking in. Drop it down where your head's exposed. This is what I use to guys to help travel the distance. I'm able to land the body punch quite easily. As I throw that body punch, the idea is to try and get to drop his hands down slightly. Because I have my body's turned in, I've got a lot of momentum now. Strike this right overhand. Same again, my weight's on my left leg. I'm going to push off his left leg. I'm going to go left up, which again will knock his weight onto his leg. So again, so I can land with that low kick. Okay, so the combination. Okay, I'll just show you from the other angle. Okay, with this combination, I'm going to start off with a left body kick feint using the switch. I'm going to switch my leg right now. When you switch, when my left foot moves first, drives back, and right one steps in front. With that step in front, I'm going to use it to fire a right hook. So I'll go feint the kick, come round, and I'm going to go right hook. Now, if you watch, I'm on the side of my partner, and I'm still in my stance, in an orthodox stance. From here, I'm taking a little step to my right hand side. I'm going to fire a left hook, which will be to the front of his face, and straight from there. And a low kick to the back of the leg. Right now, in the fight, I would have fired the left kick a couple of times to see how he's reacting. If I notice that they're blocking with their hands this way, or if they're blocking and using their arm to come across, that means this side of their face is open. So I'll fire the kick to get him to block, so I'll block the kick. As he's blocked, it's easy to land with that right hook from there. Okay, so all you do, so I'm gonna go faint, so I'll switch. Okay, I'll show it from a different angle. Yes, one of the first rare quiet moments and then Damien explodes again. This combination, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to throw a left body kick. After the body kick, I land out, I'm going to go right cross. Again, I'm going to go left up, and straight away from there, I'm going to finish with a right low kick. Right, a couple of things. The first one, when I throw a left kick, because I'm continuing the attack, after you've kicked, I want to land forwards. This helps generate the power for that right hand. If you manages to cover up from the right hand, he's open to the left hook. Same again, if you manage to block the left hook before he hits him, He'll knock his weight onto that leg and like finish it with a right low kick. Now, some people, have, um, when they're defending a kick, is they'll block with their arms this way. So if someone blocks with his arm that way, so he's kicked, he's blocked, he's opened himself up, so I've fired the left kick so I can land with his right hand, so I'm helping to set it up. Okay, so the combination, I'll go kick. <laughs> Show from the other angle. This combination, you start from going lead up a cut. It's quite a long uppercut, so I'm not too close. So I'm going to lead up a cut. What I'm hoping to happen here is I want to try and cover his face up. When he's covered his face up, I'm going to drop straight in. I'm going to go across to the body. As I pull my arm back, because I'm going to waste my lead leg, I'm going to come up, I'm going to go left up, and I'm just going to finish it 
with a right cross down the middle. Right, I'm really throwing the cross to the body. I'm not going uppercut and dropping down and punching here, so I've got no power. As I fire the punch, I want to drop my weight in, so I'm pushing through with that right hand. As I said before, as I turn through my weights on that uh, left foot, so I can really drive in a big left hook. I'm going to my right leg now for a big right hand. So all the punches are for power. Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, I'll show it from the other angle. Disdain to damage oh. punches. This combination out, I'm start off with I'm going to go jab cross. After my jab cross, I'll go left body punch. There, I'm going to go left hook. I'm finishing it with a right kick up to the head. Right, first part, I'm firing my jab cross because I want him to raise his hands up to protect his face. While he's protecting his face, hopefully he's opened his body up so I can land with a body punch. Two things are going to happen is he's going to get hit with it and obviously he might drop his arm slightly if it's hurt him or he might try and defend it. Once he's tried to defend it or if it's hurt him, I've opened him back up with a hook to the head. Again, if he hits him or if he blocks it, he's going to knock his head in that direction so then I can land with that kick to the head. A couple of things. First one, when you're firing a body punch, you don't want to be going one, two, then trying to land in. So once I've thrown the first two shots, there's a high chance he'll start attacking me back. So as I throw across, so I drop it so my shoulders close to me, so I've traveled that distance, we have to land a body punch. After I've hit with this body punch, I want to reload again so my weight's back on my lead foot, so I've got a lot of power to fire the hook in. Again, I've twisted my body right the way through, so I've got a good momentum to land with that kick to the head. Okay, so from there, I want to go. Gash up from the other angle.